Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the absolute disaster of a vehicle sitting behind me today is a 2005 Honda Civic Si that hasn't been cleaned in many, many years. So let's take a closer look at the car to see what kind of mess we're dealing with today. All right, well, as you can see, this Civic isn't looking so great right now, although it is sporting a little upgrade with these Acura wheels, but they're all pretty filthy and covered in dirt, as is the rest of the car. But if you couldn't already tell this car has been neglected, take a look at the front end. It's basically a solid layer of dead bugs and there's no telling how long they've been on there. Moving inside now and it doesn't get a whole lot better as the previous owner basically used the floor as a garbage can for their sunflower seeds. Among other things, the carpets and seats are full of dirt and nasty stains and it looks like a pop can exploded in the back here as the entire back seat is covered in something sticky. But just before I breathe new life into this old Civic, take a quick second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I post a new video like this every week and if you've got the bell on, you'll get notified the moment they go live. Okay guys, well this is going to be quite the revival when I get this thing looking brand new again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Okay, getting to work with the pressure washer now, and even though a dirty exterior means more work for me, I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind it as pressure washing is one of the things about detailing I enjoy the most. It's one of those things that requires minimal effort on my part, but has maximum impact as a vehicle will usually look 80 to 90% better almost instantly. But in the case of this Civic, the dirt has been on here so long, it's not all coming off right now. So that just means I'll have to be extra thorough during the wash stage later on. Moving to the wheel, which as you can see is from an Acura. Not really sure why, but as Acura is a division of Honda, a lot of the parts are going to be interchangeable amongst vehicles, which I do know from personal experience. I've never owned a Honda, but back when I was a kid, my second car was a 1991 Acura Integra, and then I also later had a 2002 RSX Type S, and I of course made some modifications to both vehicles as you know young kids tend to do, so I learned pretty quick that a lot of Acura parts are just rebranded Honda ones.
Okay, well to deal with the graveyard of bugs up on the front end that didn't come off with the pressure washer, I'm liberally spraying on some of my bug remover, which is going to instantly start to dissolve them, making it far easier for me to remove them during the wash stage. Okay, well just before we get to washing the car, I wanted to jump in here real quick to let you know that I've recently got my hands on one of the EcoFlow's portable power stations, and it's quite honestly one of the coolest things I own now. The Delta II here is a handy and completely portable power station that allows you to power 90 plus percent of your home appliances for long run times with its large one to three kilowatt hour expandable capacity and huge 1800 watt AC output. So what that means is that if you're at home and your power goes out, but let's say you've still got a really bad hankering for some waffles, kind of like Mike did the other day, but you can still have them. You simply just plug the waffle maker straight into the Delta power station and you're good to go. Or let's say you're going camping and you'll be without power. That's where the Delta II is the perfect solution is you can bring it along charged or if you're going to be gone on a longer trip, consider grabbing one of their solar panels as well and you can power the station on the go. But best of all, the panel is waterproof and dust tight and even comes with a carrying case too. Now for myself, I've been using it a bunch out at the acreage, whether it's charging tools out in the yard or just making myself an afternoon coffee, the Delta II makes it easy. Plus it lasts a really long time with its LFP batteries, which are the same kind Tesla uses, that last six times longer than the industry averages 500 cycles. Basically, if you use it once a day, it can be used for a staggering 10 years. And like I mentioned earlier, it can be charged with a regular 110 volt outlet in just 80 minutes or through a 220 watt solar panel like this one. Now, when you're using it, you can also control the system using their app and either a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. The app visualizes detailed power usage of all circuits, power stored from various sources, and monitors the status of your battery. Whether you're camping or need a home backup power solution, an EcoFlow portable power station will keep you powered on. Using clean, green energy, portable battery power stations can be used inside and out for hours to run all of your essential devices. And best of all, it only weighs 27 pounds, so it's extremely easy to move around. The EcoFlow Delta II is not just a battery, but an essential home appliance. Whether for daily home usage, outdoor or travel use, it's a handy and eco-friendly power solution for your family, anytime, anywhere. Simply head to my link in the description to check out EcoFlow's green energy solutions like the Delta II power station. Okay, now let's get back to washing the car. Thank you. 
Okay, starting on the interior now, and after quickly getting the seats removed, we can see that most of the mess in here was hiding underneath them, as that's where all the garbage and stains are in the carpets. Working my way around the Civic with the vacuum, and as this is a bit of an older vehicle, it came from a time when manufacturers still put good quality carpet in lower end economy vehicles. So the carpet has a nice thick pile that allows the vacuum to suck stuff up pretty easily and it should also mean that extracting will be easier later on as well. Okay, starting on the front seats now, and I just wanted to mention that if you haven't checked out episode 11 of the Studio Build series yet, you really should. Well, the whole series to be honest, as it's been a ton of fun getting to share the whole construction process with you guys. Episode 11 is one of the last ones and it won't be too much longer before I've made the switch and I'm working out there. It's kind of just a matter of getting the final things filmed and my stuff moved out there now. So if you want to see what things are looking like right now, then head over to the Detail Geek 2 to check it out.
Moving to another section of carpet now, and for those of you wondering what carpet solution I'm using that's making these carpets and seats look brand new again, well, it's my own Detail Geek carpet cleaner that I spent quite a bit of time having formulated to my exact specifications. It doesn't foam up too much and has very powerful cleaners in it that can transform even the dirtiest carpets or upholstery, and it has a really pleasant clean smell too. So be sure to give it a look over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com where it's available in ready to use and concentrate versions. Here's all the dirty water pulled from the Civic today and it seems not so bad to start, but then it gets pretty gross. Okay, now for all the interior trim that's good and dirty, I'll simply use some of my APC and the steamer, and after about 20 to 30 seconds, it's looking perfect again. Now, as these headlights are really dull and faded, I'm going to give them a quick polish after getting them taped off to protect the surrounding paint. And what I'm using here is my new finishing polish and a microfiber cutting pad. And with the speed on my polisher set to five to six, I'll make several passes over the headlight 
wipe off the residue and it's going to look brand new again. Obviously this polish will also work on your vehicle's paint to remove light scratches and swirls following the same process. So if you want to give it a look, you can find it at DetailGeekAutoCare.com. Okay, second last step here is to get all the glass cleaned and I always spray the cleaner directly onto my towel so that way I don't get any overspray or drips going onto the clean paint. And if you've ever struggled with getting streak-free glass, well the secret to that is using a waffle weave towel which won't leave any lint behind either. All right guys, well a relatively quick eight and a half hours later and the Civic is looking better than ever and it is ready for a new life. Hopefully one that's a little bit cleaner. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.